Hey, man, come on in. Oh, sorry I'm late. You look exhausted. Christiane's been riding my ass about another baby, like I was telling you. And this week, I had to stay late at work because I keep having to fire the temps. And she's there, like, like naked and shit, and all wanting to do it twice before bedtime because her calendar says that it's got to be now. The calendar with the cartoon squirrels on it? Yeah, but I checked, and they're actually from some 80s show called Rescue Rangers. And yeah, Christiane's like all into role-playing and using like various fruits in bed, and that shit is emotionally draining beyond scrotally draining, you know? I wouldn't know, actually. <sighs> I'm sorry, man. I, I guess we both have it bad. Are you ready to do some recording? Sure. Back in character in one, two, three. So, Rish, uh, what have you been doing lately? You know me, Big, just sitting alone in my lonely apartment counting the days till Bruce Willis's kid becomes legal. How about you? A lot of sex stuff. You wouldn't understand. So, is it time for us to do our big pledge drive thing? Pledge drive thing? Yeah, for the month of March, we're going to make our listeners a deal. You know, if they donate a certain amount to the show, we're going to do a podcast. Rish, every- wait. No, no, no. We're going to do a-, a podcast a day throughout the month, just as a reward for all the donations. Oh, Rish, it- it's March already. Oh, well, well, folks, you'd better donate to the show so the Big and I can release the daily podcast. That Rish, spend- stop. What? We already did that in February. Look, I know we recorded it, but this is to let people know that if they donate, that you and I... No, we already released those every day in February. Oh, yeah? Because they met the donation? No, we forgot to ask for the donations first. Oh. But they, what, donated later? No, in fact, we lost subscribers. But all that work. And only two people listened. To every one of them? To any... Of them. Oh. Wow, that, that's that's not good to hear. So all that work? Was for nothing, yes. Wow. Yeah. But still, two people. That's pretty... One of them was me. Oh. Oh, wow. And you offended more people. No. Please, I, I I didn't. Yeah, you made generalizations about women, complained about Twilight, and boasted about wanting to murder children. Boasted? Uh, I joked about it. I don't know if I was boasting. All right. Fantasized, maybe. But I wasn't boasting. Also, you used the phrase Mexican standoff. And it's not PC anymore. What? That's offensive? What are we supposed to call it now? A tense moment of pointing guns at one another. Or Texas border standoff. Is that it? No, you can also call it a Tex-Mex standoff. No, I mean, was that all the offensive stuff I said? Oh, no, not even close. Uh, apparently, people are calling for another trial. What? Like, like the trial we had that got me kicked off the show that one time? Right. Uh, luckily, we still have all the guilty verdicts recorded. Well, uh, that's some good news for once. In the meantime... Hey, big sister. What's your least favorite show? That Gets My Goat. All right, folks. Welcome to That Gets My Goat, episode 70,000. I don't know what episode we're on anymore because we had like 29 thrown in the middle. So do we jump up 29 episodes? Oh, hell no. Rish Outfield. Okay. (laughs) I screwed that line up there because it's normally hell no big Anklevich. Yeah. Uh, No, we do not. Those are like a completely separate entity of Dupo Remo. So I think we're on 67 or so. Let's save something special for 69. We usually don't even mention numbers because... Oh, no. Okay. You're right. Good point. Who cares? Do you want to just talk a, a little bit about the Dupo Remo experience? Sure, yeah, I did want to chat about the whole, just the whole thing. Dupo Remo, Dune Steve, that gets my goat, the whole shebang. Okay. I thought it'd be fun to have kind of a post-mortem because it's dead. No, because <laughs> Dupo Remo's over, so you can call it a post-mortem episode where we talk about how that went. And... We'll never release it like we did with the uh, postmortem about your trial. That was oh, fun. We've got one. it still just sitting on my computer, gathering dust. I'm going to have to take the darn computer in to get cleaned because of all the dust it, it gathers. You wouldn't think a file could do that, but apparently it can. Um. So anyways, yeah, we did, what, 29 episodes. 
We picked February because it was the shortest month, and yet it happened to be the longest February ever. I guess we were going to do March. I mean, it was, the whole plan was that this was going to be a fundraising thing. <laughs> and I don't know what happened. I, I you just, can't get blood from a turnip, I think is... Uh, All right. Can you get blood from a stone? I don't think you can get it from a stone either. See, so we were in the totally wrong ballpark looking for blood, weren't we? Yes. <laughs> Instead of blood donations, we should have asked for money. Um <laughs> Yeah, I know. I think that's probably the problem. You 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 got to have more than two listeners to get more donations. I, I think that's a big problem. If we want more donations, we need more people to listen to the show. So offending them more often might not be the way to do it. It might cut the offensive stuff out. Might bring more listeners. I don't know. I mean, I'm no expert at that kind of stuff, but Did I you, know that you are an expert. So tell uh, me. Apparently so. <laughs> Did you listen to any of the offending episodes? Uh, I listened to a little. Normally, I try and listen to That Gets My Goats before they air. Although, for the first while, I was just like, yeah, this is Rish's show. So as soon as you sent it, I would just level A, reduce noise, mail, go, Actually, out. I think the first few episodes I just posted had yeah. nothing to do with you at all. And I just spit them out there and, you know, just got rid of them. And, but at a certain point, there was one episode where... Just by chance, I played it. It was playing before I sent it off. And it was all effed up. Like, Channel 1 and Channel 2 were not in sync. And it was this weird echoing thing going on. And so I had to uh, talk to you and said, Hey, I think uh, you might need to redo this one because something's up. From then on, I've started listening to them all. But unfortunately, with Dupo Remos, I was unable to keep up. <laughs> I have listened to at least half of them. I was practically unable to keep up. Yeah, I was listening to them at work, and I have them all uploaded to Google Music, and each time I'd put on a new one, it would upload the new one. But at some point, something got screwed up, and like four or five of the episodes just didn't upload. And are they on the... broke my string. They are on the site, fine. Are they on the, what do you call it, the feed? Yeah. Although something happened with one of the episodes, I was looking at my feed. I think episode 25 just never showed up on the feed. I, I cannot figure out why. You know, it's something that we complain. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not even going to speak for you. I complain whenever yeah, there's yeah, a that's podcast. That's what you do is complain, though. That's right. But whenever there's a podcast that has thousands of listeners or millions of listeners and there's a mistake on it, I just go, well, do you not listen to it before you post it <laughs> but yet i guess with a lot of these we didn't part of it is just the daily thing well you there listen times to when them I, at least no well i because you cut them so you had to have listened to them you can't edit an episode without even hearing it no that well, that's true but you know i would save it and send it to you and doing it 29 times there were <laughs> bound to be mistakes or problems in there, <laughs> there and probably I'm glad that was we only if we only had the one, then that was fairly successful. But like I said in the very, very last episode, you got to have an attitude of sometimes it's worth doing a thing just to say that you did it, just to try it. Right. Even if it's unsuccessful. And, and you know, it, it did bum me out that one day when you're like, oh, geez, you don't want to know how few people are listening to these. <laughs> but by then we had recorded them all, I think. And so thank yeah, it's goodness. It's too late. When I looked at them, though, I was too, I don't know how those stats work. I mean, I have no idea. Like it said, downloads were this many, but I don't know that that counts. Everybody gets it off the feed or whatever. I think it may just be people that actually go and download it straight from that spot. Sometimes it's hard to figure out. With our main podcast, we published on Libsyn, so it gives us some pretty good stats. So I have a pretty good idea how many people are actually listening to that. But with these yeah, gets my goats, I really have no idea. We, you know, we always say nobody listens to it, but then on the forum or whatever, people are like, oh, I, I must be the one person that listens to it. And like 10, 15, 20 people say that. You're kidding me. Seriously? At a certain point. Oh, see, because I don't participate in the forums anymore. All right. Do nobody you? does, it turns out. Well, just, that I, that I agree me. with you because I went to the forums for the first time in like eight days. And there's a little button you can push that shows all the posts that have been there since the last time you were been there. And there was one. And it was me. 
No, I, th- I think it was the movie quote game or something. Uh, the movie quote game is the only thread that keeps going. But And I'd like to participate in the movie quote game thing. But every time I go there, I, I don't recognize it. Right. And I don't want to just cheat and say, well, I'm going to put forth as you wish or whatever it is so that this <laughs> thing will keep going. The, the rule is you have to correctly identify the quote and then it's your turn. And so... Uh, I've become a little saddened by the steady downturn in traffic to the forum because, yeah, it seems like I, I still check it. Like, I think I check it every day, but these days it's, oh, no new posts, no new posts. But that's OK. You know, well, people got lives to live, so I can't complain. Well, the, the Twitter thing just keeps going as strong as ever, right? What is the Twitter thing? The Twitter participating website? In the, well, I don't know how Twitter works. <laughs> There, I must Twitter assume, does still exist. There's a Doonstief Twitter feed or page. It's a, or yeah, a Twitter like account. That. You just, and that I constantly see activity on. Yeah, there's a fair amount. Although half of it could just be new Duple Remo up to <laughs> That could be. That's um, what most of them are, I'm sure. But, you know, maybe one of these days I'll go through because that's what I used to do is I would come up with a topic and post it on there and hopefully it would catch on and most of them don't but right but you know every once in a while and like the movie topic has to be the most prestigious yeah. or prolific or pro prodigious yeah okay that's right I, that's fine or proactive proportional it has to be the one that has gone on the longest and and yeah i'd hate for all of those posts to stop maybe i just need to go in there and swallow my pride and yeah suck it up jeez but one person calls you a douchebag and you quit. Just like one person. I don't like to be called. I mean, it's, it's my forum, dude. I call you a douchebag all the time, though. And you still come to my house every week to record more podcasts. All right. <laughs> so were you entertained by the, the few episodes that you listened to? Do you feel like it was a completely failed experiment? I mean, obviously, as a fundraising tool, it was a fit. <laughs> yeah, we didn't use it really as a fundraising tool, but it was a fun. It was like a, you know, the Sir Arthur Conan. Do- what was the name of the guy that uh, climbed Mount Everest? Edmund Hillary. Was he the guy where they said, why did you climb Mount Everest? And he says, because it was there. I don't know. Okay. Well, somebody did that. Somebody said that. And it's a famous quote. Why do you climb Mount Everest? Because it's there. And so you got to go and Prove that you can make it to the top. I think that's what Dupo Remo kind of wound up as. Didn't work as a fundraising tool because I guess we rushed it too much or something. We're like, oh, crap. Well, February is next month. Let's record them quick. Go, go, go. Oh, shoot. We had a point to this and we forgot to do the point. If we had an extra month, I think we could have done it better uh, and had you and me each write down a bunch of topics that we'd want to talk about. And we would have advertised it a little bit more on the regular site and, and all that. But yeah. well, we could have asked for donations a few times and said, Hey, if we get this much, then we'll do it. And we could have, you know, held that over people's heads. Like we a can threat. Think of that for future. <sighs> well, we all have jet packs and flying cars. That's right. Three breasted women, things like that. That's about the, the next time we'll consider doing a Dupo Remo. That's what I wanted to know from this whole thing because that gets my goat is basically your show. I mean, we get together and we talk about this and that and whatever, and then you're the guy who does the editing on it. And so it's like your thing. You leave in what you want to leave in, take out what you want to take out, and it's your thing. And so I was wondering, you know, normally get my goat comes out every other week or so. And it's like a, what, a 15, 25 minute thing. These came out every day and you made them a little shorter than a normal gets my goat episode. They were more like 10 minutes a piece. I for tried the for the, each one to be 10. But a few of them were a little hard shorter. It was find a spot on every one. And a few of them were a little longer, but I would say on average they were 10 minutes. So how are you like totally burned out after trying to get 29? I mean, we were at 60. I can't even go back far enough on our web page to find. Duparimo, Duparimo, Duparimo. Okay, we'll go to January. <laughs> and it says episode 66 was our last Gets My Goat. So we did 66 in like two years. I think we started it in 2010. And then in February, we did 29 episodes. So basically half of all that gets my goats, we did in that month. A third. 
half of what we had up until now we put out in one month so did that burn you like out completely or are you just like screw okay that's the last that gets my goat episode 29 of dupo remo thanks for listening folks i will never consider this again obviously considered again because here we are recording another one yeah, but we just talked about let's do one more that just sums up the experience. Uh-huh. It cl- closes the book of Dupo Remo or of That Gets My Goat. <laughs> um, and it's not an easy question to answer because, yes, my first inclination was I don't want to do this anymore. Part of it was nobody was listening. But the other part was just, yeah, it was so much work. And, and the, the, there was the pressure. And I remember in the darkest moments when you most wanted to stop being a podcaster, it was because there was pressure and a deadline and I need to do this. And it's like, I don't want to do this, but I feel like it's an obligation and that's not right. what I want this to be. And and then, yeah, with promising that we'll do a daily show became an obligation. And uh, anyway, there were, there was that, and it was a little burnt out because there was so much material. I mean, it probably was, three and a half hours or four hours of recording. Right. But the big but is it was so fun to record. It yeah, was so I rem- fun for us to converse about. I remember having, having a great time recording the episodes to begin with. I mean, I didn't have to be the guy that sat there in and out, delete, in and out, you know, going through all that editing afterwards. So, you know, the 16-ton weight had to fall on your shoulders or crush you, whichever it was that it did. It makes me wonder if you're ready to throw up your hands and say, screw this, or if you really want to keep on going with it. Well, part of it is, is that, yeah, is it just, well, I'm tired and I'm done and I don't, and it, and it feels like there was a lot of work for very little recompense or whatever mm-hmm. you want to say. But at the same time, you and I get together and talk and it, well, plus it was an excuse to get together and talk even longer than we normally do or something <laughs> right. like that. I remember the one night, it was either the first night or the last night that we did Dupo Remo. It was four o'clock in the morning or close to it when we were done <laughs> kind of thing. And yeah, that sucks for somebody that has to get up early the next morning. Which is me. But if you don't. Which is you. <laughs> it's like, wow, what a cool night. And I mean, you remember in your single days or in any time when you become really engaged in a conversation and the time just flies by or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff is really neat. Or, you know, when you get together with an old friend and it's been a long time and you're catching up and, and where has the time gone? It's like, why do we not get together like this all the time? And then that, yeah. that, that's the best part of the Dupo Remo experience or of the, that gets my goat experience. It's just, what do you want to talk about? And maybe we'll have a laugh from it and you know, we'll have it for posterity too. You know, if, if uh, 10 years from now you go back and you listen to one of these things, you'd be like, wow, I, I can't believe I ever felt that way. Right? <laughs> I didn't even remember us having this conversation. And that's the neat thing about these is it's just like a little thing that happens to be on our mind at the time. Right. And then a month from now, it's not on our mind so much. And a year from now, it's gone completely. And that stuff is neat. I, that's why I enjoyed the episodes where we talk about a movie we'd just seen. You know, we talked about Dark Knight right after we saw Dark Knight, but now Dark Knight's in the past. And it was Heath Ledger's last movie and he got an Oscar, posthumous Oscar for it. And it was a billion dollar movie. You know, all these things that have happened in the past. Dark Knight Rises came and went and all that in the future. But we'll always have what we thought about that day in 2008. We'll always have Paris. That's right, sweetheart. But but the other part of the answer is I figured if I if if there was something that you wanted to say or something that I wanted to say, we could all we always had the option of doing another that gets my goat. Mm -hmm. And crazily enough, there is something that I wanted to talk about. That gets my goat will be continued next time. Run while you still can. (laughs) You know what gets my goat? That this show is produced under your Creative Commons 3.0 license. Why would you bother?